Okay, good morning, boys and girls. This is the Saturday morning meeting of the Leisure World Photography Club. Let's get started. Today is December 19th, 2020 and 10 a.m. Let's see. Here's our activity, where we are so far on activity. 2020 is over, thank God. Uh, we'll start off uh, January 2nd, no meeting. January 9th, the holiday social is canceled. We hope to have the end of season gathering in April. Uh, next board meeting is on uh, the 13th. And don't forget the scavenger hunt, you're supposed to be working on it in the background, is for the uh, January 16th meeting. It'll be at the regular meeting, but uh, the scavenger hunt will be in addition to the uh, regular chair. And then the foundation, we are doing a rain check this year. Okay, here's where we are on the meetings at a glance. We're on uh, December 19th. Uh, we're gonna have a weekly challenge of emotion. And then we're going to have the lesson on uh, the National Geographic series, which is number seven. Bob, can I add a quick thing? I unmuted myself. Sure. Um, I, I did see um, um, the gal who runs the uh, the Leisure World Foundation. Be um, Peggy. Peggy. Uh -huh. Peggy. Yes. And, and she thinks that it should be on. And, and she, I told her to call you. I know so it's on. I know it's on, but we're not going to participate. You're not? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it says rain check. Okay. We hope to be invited back next year. Yeah, I did tell her to catch up with you, so. Yeah, she did. Yeah, we're, we're good. They can have all the social distancing they want at the, at the uh, exhibit itself, and, and but th there's no way you're gonna avoid mingling before and after and I think it's just safer for us just to take a rain check. So we'll, we'll, hope, for, we'll hope for a revisit next year. Okay, and so, so this is actually the last meeting of the year for us. We're gonna have two weeks off and we'll be back on January 9th. Here's where we stand on the virtual theme contest, not the spectacular turnout I was hoping for. We've got April, Bob, Chris, Connie, Mary, Paula, and Ruth. And uh, we're still shooting for 15. I'm hoping that more people will come on board. Uh, I did a mock-up uh, for the for the board to look at. I'm thinking about uh, maybe I'll send you the link and let you see what it would actually look like. Would that help if you saw what it would actually look like? Oh, you're on mute, so I guess I can't. I can't well, tell. My problem with it isn't what it looks like. It's that this year's theme is a day in the life and. Um, I was planning to go out and shoot a day in the life of something which I won't reveal, and I can't do that. So there's no point in participating. Is there anything you have on hand that, that would qualify that you could use? No, it has to be a series, the day in the life of whatever. Um, right. You no, know, I've never shot something like that. Probably nobody has. Well, maybe somebody has, but I haven't. I came up with two things that would work as far as 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 far as uh, if you have if you have multi if you have multiple shots of somebody doing something, it doesn't have to be a complete day. No. If you have segments of a day, like if you have a part of a day, if you've got if you've got a if you got a half a dozen shots of somebody doing some activity, I, I would think that, that that you'd be able to work with that. I have a good idea. If we don't use it this year, I'm hoping that we have the same title next year. There you go. Well, plus we've had two years to work on yeah. this, don't forget. We've had two years. That's why we pick them out two years in advance. So I have a good idea and I'm excited about it. Well, maybe but, we'll have it. Maybe if we could just get it up to 10, maybe we'll go ahead and have it, the, the, vir the virtual. I'm excited about it. I'm kind of hoping we can do it, but I'd like to see a few more participants. How, how would we, you do it? How would you do it on the post? Well, that's, it won't be on the post. It'll be a it'll be a virtual. You know, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a link of a mock-up of what okay. it would actually look like, and you can actually vote. Why yeah. don't you guys? Why don't, why don't I send you the link? You guys look at it as if you were a Leisure World resident, which many of you are. <laughs> 
and then actually follow the process. This is what I asked the board to do, and the board was able to manipulate through it and were able to cast votes. I'll send you the link after the meeting, and I want everybody to look at it just as if you were seeing it for the first time. And bear in mind, this is a mock-up. I didn't have enough photos to, what I did was I took my last five um, themes that I had turned in and made a show of it so that it gives you the feel of what it's gonna look like. So the only thing that, that's different is it would be your photos and your theme. Right. And uh, it's got a table of contents. You can click back and forth. Uh, you can uh, see the show and then you can stop the show. And then at the end of it all, you, you, you vote. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll send you the link. And I think it would help people if they knew what it, what it was actually going to look like. It's hard to, hard for you to visualize, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A little right. bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's what I'll do. I'll send the link so you can actually practice. You can actually vote and everything. <laughs> but who all would it be sent out to? How would people, how would the public vote? Well, the, the, the thought being that um, we would publicize it through the post. I'm going to go to the newspaper and see if I can get us a blast on it. And uh, I think the post and the blast and the newspaper, I could uh, see if I could get an extra blurb on it in the paper. You know, in addition to our regular weekly, our regular monthly feature, maybe I could get a little uh, two, two to 500 word little blurb, especially on the contest. The key is if I can get uh, the community association, Laurie in the newspaper office, if I can get her on board, because it's a community participation, that's what makes it fun. I mean, it's, it's open to everybody in the community. So I'll tell you what, I'll send you the link and let you look at it. And then I bet you that, I bet you if I can get two or three more, two or three, if we can get it at least up to 10, I think we might have something. Now, I hate to see the opportunity go. Sooner or later, somebody's going to do something virtual. And I just assume it'd be our club. Maybe you want to contact individuals. You, you are very persuasive. And if they were actually personally invited to join, they might like that. Maybe, I don't know. You know, find out who all participated last year and contact them first. What a great idea. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I were personally invited to something, it would Makes it harder influence to turn down. me more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like the way you think. Yeah. All right, let's move on. I'll send you the link and you can vote. And you better vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you the other thing, you. Vote for you or you. Yeah, that's the other thing is the the, the, the voting will be blind. So right. the Leisure right. World residents will have no idea who they're voting for. Yeah. And Bob, do you want to explain too that we're not having the, not having the individual one, just the individual right. dinner? Right, right. Yeah, no viewer's choice this time. It's just too hard for people to wrap their arms around the concept. So this will just be one vote for one theme and that's it. You have to keep it real simple to talk about this many people at random. So anyway, I'll send you the link and we'll go from there. I hope it gets more volunteers. That will be an upcoming yes. challenge for us. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Somebody had a question? Oh, Linda? Um, could you remind myself or maybe others too, what's the deadline to sign up for it, please? It was today, but we're going to extend it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to extend it. I'll, I'll put out an email later on it. I send you the link on the mock-up so you can see what it looks like. And we'll extend the date. What, uh, what's the next board meeting? Is uh, yeah, we could 13th. Easily, yeah, we could easily extend it to the... Uh, January 13th. Yeah, let's make it to Friday prayer. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, 13th is fine. Thank you. Okay. And the form you're going to do, sir, or Bob, um, there, it's going to have those boxes so we can just vote online, right? Yep. It'll be an online vote. Thank you. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, the weekly challenge this week is emotion. Uh, next week is uh, sleepers, all kinds of sleepers. And... Uh, January 16th will be Windows plus the scavenger hunt. Bob? Yes. 
For some reason I was muted, but I wanna go back to the last thing. There's probably a deadline for getting information into the January newsletter. Oh yeah. With Christmas and the holidays, we've probably missed getting anything in for January. Yeah, we have missed it. The deadline was December for February, 10th. Which is January 10th deadline. So right. we have a shot for January, but not for December. Correct. That's for the February newsletter, January 10th for the, the February. January newsletter. So the voting would have to happen in February. The voting is all online. Yes, but it won't be published in the newsletter until February. January's is already being printed. Yeah, February 1st, though, and if the contest doesn't start till the middle of the month, and it middle runs for February, two weeks. Middle of yeah. February? Yeah, and it runs for two weeks. Okay, okay. Thank you. Have plenty of time. Yeah, you're right. We can only have one shot at the newspaper, and that's the February issue. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. So we reviewed what the weekly challenges are today and coming up, and then the monthly challenges, the desert wildflowers. I don't have anything turned in yet on that. I've got some three of my own that I've got set aside to print, and um, that's the deadline of December 31st. And uh, you can just drop those in the lockbox on my front porch if you want. And um, January, we're going to do waterscapes and then insects for February. So here's an example of a desert wildflower. And here's an example of uh, emotion. I know that you all have experienced the same joy I have walking into a store and discovering that they have the correct size of squirrel underpants that you've been looking for. And that brought me a lot of joy. And so that's why I put that one in there as an example. Okay, then we're gonna have uh, a lesson seven, which is big results from little lights on our uh, National Geographic series. And then we're gonna wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy new year, because this is our last meeting of the uh, year. So with that, we'll go back to April. We're gonna let you go first since uh, you might cut, are you there, April? Have we lost April? Looks like it. Okay. Pardon? Oh, um, oh, I got a share screen on this one. That's right. Okay. I have to do each one individually. I didn't realize that. There we go. Okay, so April we've lost. Okay, so we'll let Diane lead us off. Go ahead, Diane. I think she's still on mute. Thank you. Oh, uh, this is my, okay, you can hear me now? Yep. Uh, this is my mother, a Dodgers fan for over 50 years in Los Angeles, prior to that Detroit Tiger fan. And she had a whole collection of pins from the Dodgers and she wore it to spring training. Tommy Lasorda was there that day. She was just having the time of her life and that's pure joy. And some stranger wanted to take her picture. I took her picture too. So there she is. Oh, this is my farmer husband, Bob, with his first attempts at tomatoes. Very happy at the moment until they all got eaten by birds. We bought some at the supermarket. <laughs> Uh, this is my friend Blaze. Uh, she works at K-Jazz. We went to hear her sing and we all experienced that kind of joy. Oh, this is Bob with his uh, twin daughters after they did a lot of investigation and found his real family and there he is as a child and we all went to a big reunion. A lot of joy there. Oh, uh, Linda Weinstock made these for me. The first one was just because and the second one, because I guessed a math problem on Facebook and she delivered the second one. So they're bringing me lots of joy right now. Uh, these are our grandkids at Bob's daughter's wedding. They're all dressed up and very excited. 
This is my teacher, Jill Friedman, and she loves teaching art. Unfortunately, she's not doing it at the moment, and she's just the best. And this is Bob with one of his many blue ribbons, which always brings him joy. This is at the state fair. We've gone every year, except of course this year. So we won't even think about that at the moment, but there's joy. Okay. Hmm. That's it. You got it. I couldn't figure out how to get out of there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Elaine. Let's see, what have we got here, Bob? This is one of the ponds in Iowa that I walk around. It's not too far from the farm. It's about four miles. And if you go around four times, you've gone a mile. But I, it goes, remember the day when you used, we used to do this at school for biofeedback? And I think of that when I'm walking around this, you think, in your mind of a peaceful, relaxing situation. When I was a camp counselor in Maine, I always had a big rock in the middle of a pond that I thought of. Okay, this is serenity or calmness. There you go. And this was the last December on the cruise ship and it really was spectacular. Uh, so pretty and joyful. And this is one of our ponds that I walk around every day and it just is calming. Very but good. it gives you good exercise. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thank Thanks, Elaine. Thank you. Now I can't wait to hear this one. Go ahead. I think I know what I think I know what's going on here, but you tell us how. Unmute. Are you on mute, Hal? Um, you painted them. There we go. There it is. Okay. <laughs> um, I couldn't find the pictures for all these I painted, but uh, I wanted to show them anyway, but because they're on a computer that crashed. Oh, but, oh my goodness. Uh, I do have the pictures, so I took not some pictures of the paintings I did. That's what I thought and, it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one here is... Um, uh, this is my brother Gary, and we were at a uh, a party for Marianne and Jake. I mm. think it was their anniversary. It was either their anniversary or Jake's birthday. I can't remember, but it was right before you know they knew Marianne was had cancer and everything. And she, uh, the emotion there is uh, is uh, sad. He's in a bar. This one here is uh, my my aunt's. Uh, this is Ronnie, my cousin, and his mother died, and I was crying, and he gave me a kiss. So that's sad too. I'm not sure what emotion this is, but this guy has schizophrenia. He was in the choir that we, uh, and he was really really smart. He uh, would recite all these poems and stuff. I think that, uh, I don't know what kind of emotion that would be. I think maybe. Fossil. Pensive. Point. Pensive. Pardon? Pensive. Pensive. Yeah, thoughtful or contemplative. Contemplative, yeah. There you go. Okay, and that, that's funny. That's, that's uh, him when he was happy. And uh, this one here is, uh, a picture of um, uh, Picasso when he was old, and uh, that's a, I think it's fear. Yeah, it's good. And that's uh, my parents when they were getting, uh, you know, when they're getting married. So uh, I think that's love. <laughs> and this one here <laughs> is a guy I took a picture at, 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 you know, at the fair there where all the cowboys are <laughs> when we had some thing that we were supposed to do for cowboys. And he didn't like me taking his picture, <laughs> you could tell. So this is anger, I think. Yeah, hostile. <laughs> hostile, yeah. 
And this is my brother, and this is Joy. That's great. Okay, thanks, Hal. That's what I figured it was. You painted your emotions and then photographed them. That a lot. Oh boy. Well, yeah. Well, I photographed them first, then painted them, and then and then photographed them again. <laughs> That's a long. That was a long trip to around the block, wasn't it? But it uh, yeah. worked very effective. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Um, this, of course, is the tomb of the unknown soldier. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me, Bob? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. To tomb of the unknown soldier and. These guys, he's inspecting his weapon before he goes on up and down on the uh, drill, and they are serious, very serious. <laughs> and this is quite a thing when they throw the gun around and show you. Oh, yeah. um, that's okay, next one, that's all right, Bob. This is a sad thing, Carefree no longer has their pumpkin show, but the faces they drew on these pumpkins were really funny. The next one, and this one not so funny, <laughs> a little more scary, again, Cave Creek no longer will have the pumpkin festival. They canceled it last year. That's bad news. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, this was at the um, uh, Dia de la Muerte festival in, in Mesa. And this gal was singing to the crowd and she was having fun. And she was a great singer. Great singer. This I added on because the gang will remember that last year we went and saw Joel Sartori at Mesa Theatre. And oh, yeah. he's very serious there because he's answering questions. They're coming at him outside in the lobby. Um, oh, but this guy has, has a great sense of humor, actually. He's, he's really funny. It was a great show. This is a Bedouin in Saudi, in, in South, um, uh, the Egyptian Sinai desert, desert. And um, they actually have great senses of humor and they're very funny, you know, but um, they were delightful. That was inside the tent and stuff and we had dinner there. Very good. This is a guy who was our tour guide in Egypt and he, we took off, we were looking at camels again in the Sinai Desert. When we came back, he was, uh, he, he was in his pose or whatever. Um, and um, uh, believe it or not, his name is Muhammad Ardell. And I have quite a few photos. And when you said about this thing, I said, I could do a day in the life of a tour guide because this guy just loved to be <laughs> photographed. I think that'd be great. That, that'd be a great idea. <laughs> he was hilarious. Um, sea of Galilee. We all had to do our pose on the boat, as everybody does, Titanic. Um, and everybody was really happy to be there. It was a beautiful place. It was very peaceful, early morning. Nice couple. In a Texas, fog. Texas. This again was by, again, on, in um, uh, Israel, uh, coming out of the, the chapel of the rock where Peter was named the, the rock of the church. Um, but this guy was very serious and really into his music and um, played it very well. I've never seen an instrument quite like this, but it was great. Okay. Thank you, Jen. Okay. Nice job. Yeah, the tall guy sounds like a good, a good theme within a theme to me. A, a day in the life of a tall guy. Oh, well, I've got a few, so I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have a couple ideas. I'm just debating which one is best. Well, I'll just throw it in. You let me know when, where I've got to send them to, Bob, and I'll put it together. It's, it's going to be as simple as, a, as an upload. Okay, I can do that. Jane Page, you're up. Oh, this is oh. my sister's dog, and she was bored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't find her, and I kept calling her name, and she never moved from that spot. <laughs> the cutie. Um, Oh, it's a shame that's so small. This is my dad. This is excitement. He got to throw out the first pitch in the state amateur baseball tournament. Um, and he was 94, so he's a little unsteady on his feet. So the coach is just kind of standing there making sure he doesn't fall over. But At 94, loves, that's allowed. Yeah, he loves baseball, and he was so excited to throw out that pitch. That's and you can, enlarge, you can enlarge this by doing the two-finger thing. Um, this is a statue along the interstate in South Dakota called Dignity. Um, and it's just, it's an amazing statue and it shows the dignity of the um, Native American woman. And if you were standing beside her, your head would barely come up to her ankle. 
Wow. It's really mm. tall sculpture, beautiful, overlooking beautiful. the Missouri beautiful River. Beautiful piece of sculpture. Yeah. Oh, this is my sister and uh, my great niece, just excitement in the pool, having a good time. Oh. Yeah. They have my sister's dog and her friend's dog, and I think this one looks more like confusion. <laughs> there you go. Um, and this one was, I don't know, we finally found this restaurant over in Phoenix that used to be a church and it's a taco restaurant now. And it was just like, we were hungry and we're glad we found it and. Celebration. <laughs> and well, this is great niece again. And I, I, you know, just killed myself for cutting off her chin there because I told her to give me a goofy face. So this is her goofy face. Word of the wise, that's a show shot if I ever saw one. Well, except for the chin. <laughs> no, you know what? It uh, you you can crop things differently now. I I take I I seriously consider that. Take another look at it. <clears throat> oh, and this is happiness. My niece got married. It was a wonderful day. Everybody's happy so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Linda. I want you all to know that Linda did a great job of getting herself organized for this. This is a great job, Linda. Compared Thank to your first you. pass, compared to your first pass, this is a miracle. <laughs> well done. Thank you. This is my granddaughter and my grandson, and they're at the Children's Museum in Normal, Bloomington, Illinois. And he's kind of like operating on his sister. Okay. Oh, Cute. This was given to me by Margaret Bowden and Norm put it up, a friend. And then this is uh, the little plaque next to it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the plaque says, happiness is not a designation, but a manner of traveling. That's right. I hope you recognize this. Um, I uh, bought a raffle ticket. I finally remember how I got it. And um, so Bob Bennett did it. I was at the arts show, if that's what you call it, fine arts show, and you would buy a raffle ticket at different objects and paintings and photography. So this represents um, going barefoot Take time to smell the flowers and the wild horses. Uh, enjoy watching them. Very good. This is the serenity uh, prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the thing I can't not change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. And this is my door. I put it down there, and then welcome was below it, my right. mat. This is my grandchildren. Jack is going, ah! because you stand on one side, and all these little kind of needles that are soft, and the um, if you squeeze it out, you can see their body forms. This was done by Liza Bell. She lives here in uh, Scottsdale area. She is the daughter of Bill Bell and Nita Rose. And this is um, Bill and uh, Nita Rose were the queen and queen, I'm sorry, king and queen at the uh, World's Fair in New York years ago. And she painted this and it's like, it represents a girl with a pearl earring and the tall vase next to it, Bill did many things in pottery. Uh, so that's a vase he made. But what he taught me is it's a three point pose. He took pictures of presidents of the United States, but your, your face is, you know, your face is pointing one way and then uh, your eyes is another way and your shoulders. I can't remember exactly. Very Maybe nice. somebody knows. Very nice. This is a big memory. Uh, Margaret and Norm did this for me, Margaret mm -hmm. Bowden. Um, this is above my kitchen cabinets. And um, 
the very top one is Farmer Bill. That was the name of some egg cartons that my father had. And then and there's a little one at the bottom. And that is in a frame of coupons. My dad started coupons and his egg cartons. So that was to go to Captain Jinks uh, on TV for children. And then there's three pictures above my dad's candling eggs or collecting eggs. Very good. Thank you. This was one of the very first pictures I took with this iPhone. My family gave it to me. And this is my uh, wonderful wife and my son, Susie. That's my granddaughter. And they're at this restaurant for the first time with me to go with them there in uh, Parker, Colorado. Very good. And she would good. slide across and she's looking at the uh, pretzel. Very good. Thanks, Linda. Appreciate it. Paula Moore? Is Paula here? My grandson, Eli. Sorry there about I'm going to change sometime. Um, this is embarrassment. This is a, we were on a rafting trip in the Colorado and Anne was getting ready to what's called ride the bull, but just sitting on the edge of the raft as it went through a small rapids and she fell. You got to make sure the raft is not in motion at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this is Eli himself and his very first fish that he caught. And that's just pure joy. And that's me and that's pride. You got it. <laughs> My brand new Subaru, which I've been wanting for decades, and I finally got it last year. So I'm just glad. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, that is my granddaughter, Holly, and we had just finished a day at the zoo, and that's just a peaceful happiness. Ah, Chip the chicken and Schwann the swan. This is after about the first week of lockdown in El Paso, and they're just bored. They're tired, they're bored. <laughs> that's a great one. And that's my daughter and her dog, Aurora, and that's, that's love. That's a funny dog. And this is awe. We're standing, um, you can't see what we're awed at. Uh, this is again my friend Anne and her friend Molly. We are at the Grand Canyon at North Ribbon Falls, which is up about halfway up the North Kaibab Trail down in the bottom. And it's <laughs> so gorgeous. Uh, it was fall um, and, and, and the leaves were gorgeous, the falls were gorgeous, and we were just amazed. The fall colors have evaded me for years. Trying to get there at the right time. At the right time, no kidding. Yeah. Ah, this is testiness. This is my cat Peaches telling Aurora to get out of her face. <laughs> That's a great shot. It is. I like it. it. Funny. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. Sure. Ruth, you're up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I couldn't resist this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. What a great these, shot. These fish always look like they're kind of uh, angry or something. <laughs> or curious. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't look like there's a ray right underneath him there um, hiding in the rocks. Yeah, nature's work of the camouflage is fantastic. Yeah. What a great shot. Good for you. I think this one is, uh, oops. I got caught with something. I, I he looks embarrassed or no, I didn't take the cookie. Like he's in trouble or something. <laughs> oh. And this one, I think he thinks if his eyes are shut, he's not gonna get in trouble for what he did. <laughs> That's a show shot. Good for you. That is a show shot. Well done. And she looks like she's in awe. I'm not not real sure what she's looking at, but she's just like intrigued by it. By it. And I'm not sure. He's pondering something. Looks very serious. Should I do it or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> she looks sad to me. Yes. This is exuberance. This is at our small lake, but where I live on a small lake in Michigan. And these are my two grandsons in law. 
<laughs> being exuberant in the water. <laughs> and, and some of you know that I used to uh, travel to Peru on a regular basis to work with street kids in a city called Iquitos, which is on the Amazon River in the jungle. And uh, lots of street kids there, and I worked with street kids in Iquitos. And this is Rodrigo and um, one of the kids I knew out of hundreds. I knew him since he was seven, probably until he was 21. And I, he always tugged on my heart because he was always so, so deeply sad. Hard to get him to smile. He was always so sad. He's carrying his shoe shine kit and that's how he tried to earn some money. Wow, he did have a mother good. and a home, which some of the kids don't. They live on the street, but uh, yeah, this is sadness. That's rough. Thank yeah. you. Rich. Great job. <laughs> okay, Valerie. <laughs> Bella, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Okay, there we go. These are my granddaughters, and I think the emotion here is love. They're looking at each other. And this is another granddaughter, and uh, she's uh, she's very proud. She's in charge of taking the dog for a walk. And this happens to be her sister, who's being very silly here and having a good time riding her other little cousin's tricycle. That's a terrific shot. And that's the little cousin who had the tricycle and he's uh, in awe of Santa. <laughs> uh, that's another granddaughter who's having a good time on Santa's lap, laughing her head off. This is my grandson who uh, is a, a, a musician and he's, he's uh, having a great time singing the song there, joyously. That's a show shot if I ever saw one. That's an excellent portrait. And the, this one has a little story behind it. We were driving on our way to Arizona one year. We were going down Highway 99 in Central California and we saw a little a little gas station off to the side and I said why don't we stop and get gas while we're here and we pulled into the gas station got gas and we looked over there's a not not much around there there were a couple of houses down the road but the chain link fence against the back of the gas station and this little <laughs> baby a little eight, year and a half year old little baby was wandering around in a diaper and a t-shirt and nobody was around and uh, we said, oh my gosh, look at that baby, he was all by himself. And uh, we waited for a few minutes, nobody came, he just kind of was wandering around. So we went over and picked him up and, uh, and I said, we've got to do something. We either can find his parents or call the police or somebody. He can't- it's Not a puppy, you can't take it home. <laughs> can't be walking around here. So we waited, we drove down the street a couple of small houses down the road and we stopped at one and a couple of women came out and they said, we don't know whose baby that is. We've never, you know, maybe next door, but you know, they're, they speak Spanish and we don't really know them. And we waited in front of the house thinking, well, what should we do? And, and an older gentleman came out and he looked like he had just uh, been sleeping and just woke up and he didn't speak English. So my Spanish is really limited and I said, tried to communicate enough, finally got the idea that that was the child's grandfather, but the child didn't want anything to do with him. And so I thought, well, maybe it's not really his grandfather, who knows? And the guy said that the father had gone to the store and he would be back soon. So we waited for about maybe half hour, 45 minutes and right in front of the house, I said, don't worry, I'm not taking your baby anywhere. <laughs> And here comes the father, and sure enough, the grandfather had fallen asleep while he was babysitting the little guy, and the little guy took off. So it was mm. a happy reunion. Oh, boy, that's scary. Speaking of scary. And there's <laughs> my granddaughter again being very silly. 
<laughs> she could put shot. phony eyes on her on her face. That's great. Nice job. Thanks, Val. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Walt, you're up. <clears throat> Unmute, Walt. This is one of our <clears throat> Leisure World feral cats, I believe, uh, that wandered in the backyard for the fir very first time this year. I saw him a number of times last year, oh. and he found a sunny spot against the back wall, and I call this one contentment. He's just lying there and yawning. <laughs> and moments later, he was alert about something. And that's all I got of him because next thing he did, he took off like a shot. <laughs> and that was at 10 o'clock or so in the morning on the day these were due. <laughs> Very good, Walt. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I'll go last. And I'll go last. Yeah. What on earth is that? I'll get rid of it. I got it. Thank you. Do we have an unauthorized person? Do you know Santa Mary? No, I don't. Then I'll kick him out. Thank you. I just labeled mine so I don't have to talk. And that's all I got. Good job. Those are great. Those were great, Bob. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and get our uh, our lesson for today started. You know that what did that Diane? What did that say? Sas Sasami something, Mary. Santa Mary. Does anyone know that name? They tr the second time coming in and making noise both times. I muted them and I won't let them in again. Okay, very good. It might be somebody we know, but we need more to go on than just, well, yeah, that's not much to go on. All right, let's get our lesson started. All right, I'm gonna mute all and we're gonna have our video. You guys enjoy the lesson. And then uh, if you wanna attend the after, after meeting meeting, you can do so. Share screen. Can you hear okay? How about this? Big results from little lights. Something we don't think about much. These little bitty handheld lights that we, that we get with our basic camera kit. These small flashes. Huge results there. Huge.